Unless you'll have to bear one more uh, chat with me up on this podium, I'm afraid. Um, how, how disappointed are you by the manner of the defeat today? Well, yes, the last three test matches, I think we were not really up to the mark. And by that, what I mean is we never really competed. And uh, I think also today's batting was a reflection of a batting order that has uh, lost a lot, a lot of confidence uh, over the period of time you know, in, in the five test match series. So, uh, yes, it is very disappointing. Uh, uh, but still, I think you know, there's plenty that the youngsters would have learned. Uh, not many have played over here uh, when it comes to test cricket. And also the fact that not many have played a lot of test cricket outside the subcontinent. So I think it's a very important tour uh, for them. And hopefully they'll learn plenty out of this tour. And in the coming years, you know, when they come back over here again, they'll perform much better. Um, can you? It's been a remarkable turnaround in the series from the victory at Lords to then the defeats uh, culminating here. Can you pinpoint uh, a moment, a session, a day in the series uh, where the turnaround started? Well, I think uh, if you see, uh, as I said, right from the start, you know, our batsmen, they never really performed uh, a big time, you know, uh, I think it was the lower order that did well, you know, Bowie's performance in the first couple of test matches with Stewie and with some of the other batsmen, even Shami scored. That actually, to some extent, you know, camouflaged the performance of the first six or seven batters. And uh, later on in the series, once the lower order didn't perform, you know, we saw there was not enough runs on the board. And if you're scoring 150 odd runs or 160 odd runs, that's not really uh, good, enough, good enough to defend, you know, against a home team and I, I felt that's what we really got exposed and it was the amount of runs that were needed that we were not really able to get. Um, were the conditions here an eye-opener for some of your young batsmen? You said that you know not many of them have got experience uh, overseas or indeed in England. Were the conditions an eye-opener for them? Well, it's a, it's a bit demanding over here. Uh, again, you know, I think the wickets were good. Uh, it was not like, uh, I think the Lord's wicket was one on the first hour, you know, it did really uh, too much. But apart from that, I, I felt the wickets were good. There was nice, nice pace and bounce. Uh, and a bit of overcast condition, it gets a, uh, you know, the fast bowlers get a bit of swing. And, you know, it, it's more about if you see the English, English bowling line, you know, they're very consistent with their lens. They keep hitting the same areas and they maintain the pressure that way. So I felt the, the batting order to uh, some extent felt the pressure of not scoring. You know, they were willing to bowl sessions after session. Not not giving too many runs and uh, that's where in test cricket what's important to absorb pressure in that session and you know once you're batted for a couple of hours and if you're willing to spend time you start putting pressure from the lunch session onwards towards the tea session and after that also. Um, in hindsight could you have done anything different I mean with the exception of Gautam Gambir who came in for Shikha Dhawan you didn't make any changes to that batting lineup in hindsight could you have done anything different? Uh, not really. We tried almost all the bowlers. Uh, unfortunately, Ishwar was the only one who didn't get a game uh, from the whole squad. But apart, I'm talking about the batting lineup. Well, the batting we we had Rohit. Uh, you know, we, we gave him a game. But at the same time, even if we'd have, for example, said, okay, let's uh, go in with Rohit, and the difficult one would have been, you know, who to leave out. You know, you have Pujara at number three, uh, Virat Kohli at number four. Uh, Ajinkya Rahane getting 100 at Lords, you know, and then me. So if you're, if you're playing with five bowlers, you know, it was very difficult to see as to which batsman to leave. So uh, again, you know, uh, I think uh, whatever could have been done, we tried. Uh, a bit more application from the batsman and, you know, would have been uh, slightly better. Um, in hindsight, I mean, five test match series is quite tough when the bowlers get on top of the batsman. In hindsight, would it have been helpful to have a game or two here and there in between the tests to find some form? Well, not really. Uh, I think we were here quite early. We had a couple of games to start off. And the first couple of test matches were really good for us. So you know, there's no point really playing a practice game after the third test match uh, or before the fourth, whatever it is. Uh, I felt, you know, we just had the resources. It was the first time ever that we have uh, played uh, five test match series. And as, as you rightly said, it is very demanding. You, know, you can see Bhuvneshwar, you know, he's someone who looks uh, a bit tired. You can see it in his bowling also. but. You know, we never really had anyone else, you know, who could replace him. He was the one bowler who was bowling really wicked, well. And we all know the importance of a new ball wicket. And uh, I, I felt, you know, he did really well uh, to the condition that he got. What about yourself? I mean, it's not the first time that uh, India has struggled abroad on, under your captaincy. I mean, do you think um, you can find a way of helping this Indian team to improve uh, when they go abroad and play test cricket? I think what's important is to, uh, you know, not to get too technical about stuff, but what's very important to know uh, where your off stump is, and that that way, you know, you can if you have some technical fault, you can really hide it uh, by the means of asking the bowler to bowl to you rather than going for the big cover drive. And also, you know, uh, if you see uh, people talk about uh, the test teams, you know, that's in the making, and uh, still some of the other test teams you know, that are in the making. If you accumulate their whole test matches, you know, they accumulate to something like over 400 test matches. And you know, if you see our uh, our team, you know. 
the playing 11, especially when you when you accumulate all the playing 11 test matches that they have played, it only amounts to 230, 240 games, and you know in which we have only one fast bowler who's experienced. We have Vishant who has played over 50 odd uh, international games. So you know we, we are lacking experience, but at the same time, till they don't play international cricket, you know they won't really get experience. You don't get it from sitting in the bench. So I feel it's very important they come here, they face the uh, scenario over here, and you know carry back with the experience and the learnings that they have got and come back strongly whenever it is. All of them are young, so definitely they'll come here again. Um, you've got a job to do now to pick them up for the one-day games? Well, definitely. Uh, quite a few of them are going back, so we have said our thanks to them. But at the same time, we've got quite a few interesting cricketers coming in, you know, a few more uh, aggressive ones. And also the format, you know, uh, it's, it's not as taxing or demanding as the test format. You know, you get the result in one day, you know, you know, if you are going through a lean phase, you know, you have five to ten overs, you can get back to scoring runs. So I feel it will be very important again. Uh, it's important that we get into our groups, you know, be expressive on the field, leave the test cricket behind and, you know, enjoy the ODIs and the T20. OK, good luck to you in that endeavour and thanks for your time as always. India's captain, uh, MS Dhoni.